Welcome to Champions League Match Day 3 review with your boy Randy Silver on Football Randa. Match Day 3 is over. We're going to go over the key storylines, standings, highlights, of course, who won and who lost for you. Let's dive into it. Here's the scores. This is recorded Wednesday evening, so it's all over. From Tuesday, Munich beat Galatasaray 3-1. Inter beat Salzburg 2-1. Real Sociedad beat Benfica 1-0. Real Madrid get a win against Braga 2-1. PSV Eindhoven, Thailand 1-1, and Lens beat Arsenal. So there you go, a couple of USA players on that team as well. United beat Copenhagen 1-0. Onana, what's his name? Onana, game-winning, penalty kick save. Harry Maguire with the header goal to Alcast potentially per se. Good for them. Arsenal with a 2-1 win over Sevilla. And Napoli 1-0 win over Berlin. Their uh, main striker, Osman, is out for about a month, a month and a half. So Napoli, we'll see how they do continuously without him. But big win there. From today, Barca beat Shakhtar 2-1. Feyenoord beat Lazio 3-1. Celtic, Atletico Madrid tied 2-2. Atletico got a red card in this game and they were able to hold on. Dortmund beat Newcastle 1-0 in the group of death. The other game in group of death, PSG pretty easily, you'd have to say, beat Milan 3-0. RB Leipzig beat Servina 3-1. Royal Antwerp lose to FC Porto 4-1. And Man City go into Switzerland and beat Young Boys 3-1. So how does that look for the table? Munich is sitting comfortably in the table at 9 points. Next game if they win and Galatasaray lose or Man United lose, whatever. They're basically going to qualify. So it's going to come down to these three teams right here. Most likely Galatasaray and United. For match day four, I must say, you play the same team that you just played. So United just played Copenhagen. They will now switch spots and play in Copenhagen. And uh, Munich will play Galatasaray. Group B, Arsenal with six, Lens with five, Sevilla four, uh, two, and PSV Eindhoven two. This could go any way still. A couple wins, losses, but Lens and Arsenal look like they may be pulling away. Group C, Madrid with nine points, Napoli six, Braga three, Berlin zero. This should pretty much uh, play itself out with Madrid and Napoli moving forward. Group D, Sociedad, Inter pulling away. Salzburg with three. Benfica with four. And again, third place goes into Europa League. Group E, Feyenoord, Atletico Madrid, Lazio, and Celtic. Right now, Lazio, Atletico Madrid, Feyenoord right there. Could go any way with a couple wins. Group F, Group of Death. Big win by PSG to get six points to be top of the group. Dortmund, a big win in Newcastle with four. Newcastle with four and Milan with two. So they're not out of it yet, even with an 0-3 record. Uh, excuse me, 0-2 uh, record with one loss. They're 0-3 goal differential, but still not playing well, not playing where they think they would be in Champions League, especially after making it to the semis last year. Group G. City's pulling away as you'd expect. Leipzig's pulling away as you expect. This may be over after the next round. In Group H, Porto and Barca, 1-2. Barca pulling away. This can be over for them after the next round. Shakhtar and Antwerp right there at the very bottom. So again, you'll play the same teams next round. So if we go back really quickly, just switch this. So Man City will now be home. Home team in European football is on the left. So Man City's home against Young Boys. FC's home against Royal etc 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 and then after that there'll be two match days left when we look at the top scores alvaro morata at Atletico madrid's got three so do a bunch of other people bruns mendez Evelson, and he had a hat trick today by the way uh gabriel jesus so you can see a bunch of people down the board have three warren zai emery with three lead in the pack and then you can see down the pack other people are having uh two can we see goals plus the assists? Puts you right here with Gabriel Jesus with four. Same with Jude Bellingham, Julian Alvarez, Harry Kane. So anybody's game still for some of these individual trophies and awards, but they're all right there. Let's go back to stats. We look at who has the best rating overall. Gabriel Martinelli, 8.76 from Arsenal. Goals per 90 minutes. Julian Alvarez. Whenever Holland comes back, a couple of injuries come back, he will still be playing. Him and Holland are looking deadly at their partnership. When we look at team stats, 
best team rating right now is City 751. They haven't lost the game yet, which makes sense. Same with Munich, same with Madrid, but you can see that they're a tad higher. Munich's averaging three goals a match, same as City. Goals conceded, Real Sociedad, 0.3. That basically means they've only conceded one goal in three matches, which is very good. Same with Barca, Newcastle's a little bit above there. Possession, as you expect, City's right there. So the cream of the crop is moving up to the top, as you would expect. That's your overall Champions League match day three review. Come back here for Europa League. We'll dive into the scores and we'll dive into the standings for you. Of course, we have all your football news here, breaking down the big storylines, headlines, and so much more on Football Roundup. I'm Randy Silver. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.